It turns out that it's not the easiest thing ever to put uh, square wood into bent walls, so. What was that? <laughs> and that, friends, is why you always wear safety glasses. <laughs> Good morning from another day of our van build. It is a super rainy morning, but if you're just joining us, we are Kyle and Maddie. We bought a 2008 Chevy Express van, and we are fully converting it ourselves and shipping it over to Europe. And this van build is full of mistakes. <laughs> Before we let you in on the absolute rookie mistake we made, we need to take you back to yesterday where we started the walls of our van. Well, we're putting in the walls and the, the, walls and the floor today, hopefully the ceiling tomorrow, but I'm about to cut down our plywood for the walls and we already cut some of the flooring to size. So we forgot our camera today. So it's gonna be shorter little snippets. I am really not expecting this to hit first try, so we'll see. Let's see. Oh no. <laughs> well, we measured, but um, we measured correctly, but we didn't account for this little like lip right here. So we've got to cut like, I don't know, I have to measure how much. We have to cut the little corner out so it can slide under this metal. So a couple more cuts. <laughs> Yesterday we started to uh, um, put up the wall panels and we put in the flooring up in the front, but we just noticed this morning that we forgot to put insulation behind, like, we took our piece of insulation out to, like, to measure something really quick, and we forgot to put it back in, and then we put the wall panel up, so right now we're just kind of pulling the wall panel back a little bit so we can squeeze the insulation in and then shut it back up before we move on to the next piece of wall panel. We pretty much have it completely in, but like Kyle said, yesterday we got some of our wall paneling up and we got our floor in that's in like our living space. We forgot our camera at home, so we filmed a little bit on the phone, but not nearly as much as what we wanted to because my iPhone storage ended up filling up. So we did get that done. It was super simple, the flooring. We'll show you us doing the flooring here in the back a different day. Um, but the walls have been a complete struggle. It turns out that it's not the easiest thing ever to put uh, square wood into bent walls, so. Measured out the next wall panel, gonna cut it up, and there's a weird little bump out in the metal frame which makes it an issue. Like if we were to put it just straight over that bump out, then we would lose like two inches in the wall of space. So that's kind of the big issue with putting these wall panels up flush onto the frame that they have in there. But we just don't want to lose two inches on each side because the van's already small enough. All right, just measured out the wheel well area and I'm um, cutting it with a jigsaw, but you have to get really creative when like measuring around these things because you're not starting from anything that's square. So a lot of it's a little bit of a rough estimate, but at least like this area is going to be hidden by our bed. So it doesn't really matter as much down here as long as we get it secured onto the wall. So Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. All right, we forgot to cut the corner out that I explained in the beginning. Hey. Oh, does that little corner need to be cut? All right, it's pretty good. Like, probably the best cut we've had yet. But we just have to cut one tiny little corner off and then. All right, we got the last wall panel in on this side and it was pretty tough just to find like screws because there's only one like metal frame like stud right here and then the rest is right along the wall and over on the side so 
it still seems pretty sturdy in there, so I think we're all good, but we only have one one little wall piece left. It's now time for our next piece of our wall to be cut. It should be almost an exact replica of our last one, just flipped the other way. But like we said, the last one was kind of a doozy, so I guess we're gonna... <laughs> Maybe it'll be easier because we've already done it once. Guess we'll see. All right, this panel we cut out quite a bit quicker and it fits pretty good, so we're gonna screw it in and then we have one wall panel left. Well, for now, we're done. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, it is the same day. It's a little bit later and Maddie's painting and I'm putting, getting the last wall panel cut out. And then after the last wall panel is cut out, then we can kind of move on to the ceiling. It's good, the ceiling is so short. It's so hard to beg. Maddie's complaining about the short ceiling. Well, we're about to be living in that, so. All right, last wall panel going in. All right, I, um, I cut the wrong piece out. <sighs> this is my piece I needed to cut. Don't know how I did that. Yeah, I think I f***ed up. Why? Because I went, I don't think that was the dot that I was supposed to go to. What one are you supposed to go to? I think to? I was supposed to go to right here. Very exciting. Just got the very last wall panel in, and yeah, I guess now I'm either gonna look at the rear flooring or looking at starting the ceiling. So, I guess let's see what I do next. It's a brand new day of van building, and today we are tackling the amazing ceiling in our van. It'll start looking pretty put together once we have the ceiling up. Yeah, but it's gonna be, I feel like everything we say, oh, it's not gonna be that bad, but I think this one might be that bad. Um, I guess we'll see. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we are first starting out by trying to find the middle of the top of our band so that we can place our first board. For the ceiling, we're using a, I think it's a, it's a quarter inch um, tongue and groove. I think it's pine. It was pretty cheap. It's like $1.93 a square foot. It's the cheapest tongue and groove we could find. It has two sides, it has like a pattern on it, but we're gonna just go with uh, the plain side. And we're not even gonna paint it, we're just gonna keep it natural, so. Should look pretty good. All right, cutting the first board, it's 86 and a half inches, so. Got it marked out, here we go. No turning back after this. And that, friends, is why you always wear safety glasses. <laughs> Which Kyle was not wearing. And actually, a piece of wood hit me in the face the other day, and so it's always important to wear them. We have now started to put the first board in. It took us a minute to uh, measure out the first board because if you don't measure out the first board good then all the rest of it's going to be all messed up so we tried to measure is it messed up no. okay we tried to measure it as best as we could um but yeah this should be slightly easier going from here on out with our ceiling <laughs> all right so now that the first board is up now we're gonna like so we have eight foot pieces and our van is like nine and a half foot long that we're putting the ceiling in, like the cargo area. So we ran an eight foot section from the front all the way to the back. Actually, we had to cut it. We had to cut it because 
the fan was in the way, but we're gonna run full sections from the front to the back, and then it's gonna alternate, and it's gonna be a full section from the back to the front, and the next one will be from the front to the back. So there will only be, we'll have to put like a seam like right here on this stud, but it'll, but it'll be every other board will be a seam. So it's not just one full line of a seam. So we've learned the hard way that we need to pre-drill the holes into these boards because we just drilled in our second board and it snapped our first board, but not bad enough that we have to like replace it, but definitely don't want that happening again. So we're gonna have to start pre-drilling all of our holes, which isn't too big of a thing, but Kyle just found a tick on him. And then we just found like three more ticks inside the van, so. Colin and Mitchell, you guys go spray for ticks. Hello from day two of putting up the ceiling in our van. We so far have been able to cut out some holes to put our puck lights in and we have installed one of the panels already. Kyle's not in the best mood right now because this is his third time cutting this one um, piece of wood. So hopefully this time it'll be good and we'll be able to put the buck lights in and then hopefully everything after that will be able to go super smooth and pretty quick. So we're hoping. All right, we have five ceiling boards in now in total, but that includes two of them that carry the four of our puck lights. So now I am moving on to that and I have to kind of get the ceiling put in around the vent fan. And then after that's done, it should move a little bit quicker, but yep, let's see. Maddie's getting the lights wired in, so I'm gonna go cut some more boards. Well, it is a few days later now, and as you can see, we've gotten a little bit more done. We've worked on it a lot over the past few days. It's actually been a lot more work than we thought it was going to be to finish the ceiling, but I feel like we're cruising now, so we are hopefully gonna finish at least the top part today. Then we have to be really creative with the sides and how to cover some of this like metal right here. So, yeah. It's coming together. These pieces, now that we're getting to kind of like the curved part, we just have to cut them and then take slivers off, take slivers off till we get it right. This is when it becomes a little bit more difficult again. Our, so, Oh, sorry, I got like wood shavings on my shirt. So this next cut has to be 27 inches. Um, so it can fill in from where our last board left off to where it needs to go into our like liner overhead. <sighs> so yeah. Well, since um, we started this, we really have discovered that pre-drilling our little hole in the wood helps so much so it doesn't just pull the board down and snap it like we did like on our one of our first boards. So pre-drill some of your holes. <laughs> well, we're basically done with the ceiling. We just have like the, we have to make cabinets. We're gonna make little, little tiny cabinets right there, but we don't have the stuff for that right now, so. I think we're gonna move on to kind of framing the bed just to get some some of the next stuff going. And Maddie's clearing out the area right now. We have to sweep it off and then cut all of our flooring, put the flooring in, and then we are going to frame out the bed, so. All right, we are, I just got the wheelbase cut out for the flooring. It's always a pain working around these wheelbases, but I think it looks pretty good and 
We're about to start gluing and laying the back floor and then we can frame up our bed. We decided to save you brain space and skip forward a few days to what we call the fun stuff. Well, since our last video, we have almost completely put up the ceiling. I think we showed you that. And then we lay down all of the flooring in the back. And Maddie's sitting on that right now. And then we framed out the rest of the bench that I'm sitting on. And then our next step is to frame out our entire bed and the kitchen. And today I think we're going to start on framing out the bed because we have some designing that needs to take place for the pullout section of the bed. So we want that done so we can kind of get to thinking and designing that since we only have a couple more weeks to build this van before it needs to be done. So we are going to be doing a bunch of supports for our bed and that is kind of what I'm doing right now. I have to cut out like 14 of these little poles or supports, I guess we can call them, to support us while we sleep. So gotta measure them, cut them, measure them, cut them, measure them, cut them. So, a little bit repetitive, but it's what we gotta do. So it is what it is. screwing in the supports that I worked so hard to <laughs> again we have major struggles with trying to make things square in a curved van it's never easy but we're making it work okay so as we're framing out the bed we realized that there is one mistake that we made this side over here, we kind of framed up because we're going to have like full shelving that goes up. But over on this side, the bed is running to this right here. And it's going to be a slatted bed that pulls out to give us like a full length queen. So essentially, if the slats are all in and they're connected together so they don't like flip up. We understand it. I don't know if you guys will. But so the ends don't flip up and so all the boards are connected. When you pull it out, they all pull at once. We have a little board that will be going underneath connecting them all and if we try to slide it it'll hit these right here and it won't pull out so we've got to pull these two out right here yeah we can't have like supports in the middle right here just because if we pull it then it'll hit and not pull out the bed so got to change that well after figuring out what we really needed to do for our slatted bed, our bed is pretty much done, minus the slats in it. So tomorrow we get to move on to the kitchen, right Kyle? Yep, we'll <laughs> frame out the kitchen tomorrow. Alright, see you tomorrow. It's a few days later right now and we are at Kyle's parents' house. Kyle's dad's going to help us start building the upper cabinets in our van. Uh, two days ago we finished building out the kitchen. It looks really good. It is absolutely tiny though so this is gonna be super interesting how just how it all comes together and how we put all of our stuff in here so building that today all right so my dad is helping us with the cabinets and boxing out the little frame that's exposed still today he's worked construction his entire life so he knows a little bit more than we do since our van isn't square, my dad just scribed, um, or I guess since the ceiling's kind of curved, he just scribed the edge of the top of the face of the cabinet of what he's going to cut off of the jigsaw. So it will just push right up onto the ceiling and be even and flush with it. So he's cutting his scribed section off now. Alright, so the frame for the upper cabinet is in, and actually it's a little bit bigger than we thought. It's still really small, but we'll be able to fit quite a bit of stuff in there, so that's pretty exciting. But my dad is now working on a template for the sides, and then I think we're going to move on to boxing up. Alright, so my dad is currently making the door for the cabinet, but um, he kind of came up with a different idea for covering like the frame to box it out 
we are going to get basically like a one by 10 piece of wood and basically just run it from here to here on an angle and that will just cover all of this ugly stuff up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the ceiling from here from here to here and then we'll have to go to the store to get the one by ten. Coming up in our next and final video of our seven week van build, we completely finish all things woodworking and prepare for our ultimate van tour.